What's up, Orin Beers? Welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to show you what we got in our quarantine rack. So stay tuned. All right, guys, we picked up a bunch of stuff over this winter, even though we said we wouldn't. So we're going to show you. Yeah, that's right. We, uh, we said we wouldn't pick it up, but this stuff has actually been in here for quite a while. Um, but this one is uber hungry all the time. Even though she just ate. Even though like. she just ate. And she's getting big. So, yes, this is a female. How's the lighting? Okay. Female pastel OD hat puzzle. That's, That's right. right. <laughs> We're in the puzzle project now. Oh man. And she's gorgeous. Mm-hmm. Man. Look at that. So clean. It's funny. One of the videos that I was looking at was talking about a clown marker. So and that having to do with a tail stripe with a white end of the tail. I don't know if that's a true thing or not, but I feel, feel like I heard the same thing about puzzle. I'm gonna have to ask Will. Will, comment down below. Will, comment down below. Hey, <laughs> the guy behind the camera that's talking. I'm behind the camera. All right, next, next up, we'll go this way. Another surprise for the collection. Another gene that we weren't working with that we are now. This is a pastel pinstripe chocolate hypo het desert ghost female. That's right. Now we've been out of the ghost project for six years. More probably. Ish. And, and out of the, we out didn't of the think chocolate too. Uh, yeah, we were. Dumb, dumb move, but we're way into the chocolate now, but I didn't think we were going to be getting back into hypo. Now that I have this animal in my hands, it is gorgeous. When I took it out of the bag, when it first shipped in, it blew my mind. Seeing it in natural daylight, I was like, wow, that visually is a pleasing aesthetic. Mm-hmm. All these girls have really good weight on them. Yeah, we're really happy with the purchases. And um, just so you guys see and realize, it's a good time to talk about how your quarantine rack needs to be in a room that isn't near any other animals. Right, so we're in my laundry room where the quarantine... <laughs> well, one of two quarantine racks are actually. We have a different quarantine rack for colubrids and a closet in a different room, but... Because of, uh, you know, there's some glue you can get that are maybe wild caught. All right. Gotta start working with so, those. So, I think I wanna, I wanna go down here. Okay. This is the biggest girl that we got out of this deal. So this was all purchased all together. All from the same gentleman who was selling off his collection to go to medical school. Mm -hmm. This is a female mahogany het pied. We all know how awesome the suma pied or the, what is it, Justin was calling it like a Dalmatian pied or something because they usually get like black spots all over it. Mm -hmm. It's awesome. She's probably a thousand grams now. So next season or later, later in this year, hopefully we'll be making some suma pied combos. She was a late addition. We went, we ordered a bunch of snakes and then we were like, all right, we went to sleep and Ryan woke up super early for Ryan and was like, Ben, we got to add this one. We got to add this one. So we did and thankfully it, was, it wasn't sold. It was all screaming deals and we had planned not to buy anything. Like we were done, our budget for the year is over, we're not mm. bringing any animals in and this, this deal came up and it was absolutely ridiculous and had to find the money somewhere but <laughs> <laughs> so it's been about two and a half months 
um, that these guys have been in quarantine. It's almost, we try to do three months, or if the quarantine rack allows, like, we'll keep them longer, but they're close to coming out. This mm -hmm. is another female, Confusion Het Clown. Mm-hmm. Talk about a freaking killer. Oh my goodness. Confusion's awesome already. This is actually our first dip into the Confusion project and I have the Het Clown in there. Man. Mm -hmm. Hopefully we'll be able to make some really awesome combos with this girl. I love it. And there's the Confusion belly. Yeah, got that zipper, dark, crazy, dirty belly. Awesome, awesome animal. Man. It's awesome. I uh, enjoy when we look at these animals and you're like, wow, you know, like this looks cool. But really, seriously, like when you're all hyped about it, even months and months after you, you pick up something or when you produce something, every, it's just, phew. Every this one is of these like, is a knockout. This is like my favorite one in the whole group. You guys are all going to laugh at me, but this is like my favorite one. This, if I can get her head to come out, there we go. This is a lace jungle woma het clown female. Lace jungle woma, baby. Look at that. I mean, just the crazy pattern. So talk about jungle woma and how <laughs> woma is such a weird name. It's hard for me to talk about Jungle Woma because it's, I don't know a ton about it. I know that there's a super forum called a Puzzleback, I believe, and there's only a couple of people working with the project. And to have it in Lace, which you know how much we love Lace, man, and Het Clown. <laughs> yeah, and so a lot of people think Jungle Woma is a lot like Woma, and it's not. They're two separate genes. And then the other gene that we have a ton of is Hidden Gene Woma. And there, that's another gene. So none of them are connected. None of them are related. Um, they're just named similarly. I'd they're actually all different. really love it if somebody like Justin would do a like a highlight video, like a Morse 101 style for this gene because there's not a lot known about it really. Mm -hmm. but she's beautiful and I'm stoked to get her going too. Probably yeah. 600 grams. Mm -hmm. I bet she's a little more. Possibly. All right. Next, and I guess the last. The last in that group, yeah. Last of this this group. Got a poop in there. I gotta get out. This is the only male. This is a chocolate clown. Chocolate clown male. I love the way this animal looks. Man. Mm -hmm. Chocolate clowns are amazing. The super chocolate clown looked incredible. The fact that chocolate's a lilac with spot nose and makes awesome combos. Man. Chocolate clown male. He's dope. That pattern is just ridiculous. So drippy. Mm-hmm. Perfect. You can do that last one that we picked up in the same time, just... This one? Yeah. I don't think we talked about it. I don't remember, but if we did, you get to hear about it again. And you can close us out after that. That was great. This little lady here we picked up from Chad Hulker is a spark het clown female. So definite spark, not yellow belly possible. It's spark. Yep. Het clown female. And spark and yellow belly make pumas. Mm -hmm. Right? Is it puma? I think so, actually. So that's awesome. Another Lilit combo. Het Clown. Everything in the world is Het Clown these days. I mm -hmm. love it. And she's awesome. So guys, if you like this video, Ben's going to put a card here to show you some more cool animals. Thank you so much for watching. Like, share, and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video.
Play it? No, I see. I don't, why do we always do that? That's Arm so Beers, yeah, I know. What's up, Arm Beers? Welcome back to the channel. Wait, Did can it? you do it one more time? I was talking. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Good. One more time. You're good. 